Hey guys, how are you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing another movie review. This movie is a crime film from the USA, English language, released in the year 2019, directed by Mary Harron, and this film is called Charlie Says. So Charlie Says documents the Manson family and the followers that committed these horrible murders in the 1960s at the hands of this horrible cult leader. We all know about Charles Manson, and so the movie is more a insight into the psychology in the aftermath of these followers as they're being interviewed in jail by this woman, and she's trying to piece together what happened and whether or not these people can be saved. And so as the movie goes along, we told in flashbacks of events leading up to that horrible event and how they came to uh, where they are today. So what happens at that point on is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Charlie Says. I didn't really know what to expect coming into this film. Now Mary Harron is actually a well-established director, so for that I was actually wondering whether or not this would be worth it. Now this is a Charles Manson kind of film. A lot of documentaries, a lot of films have been based on this guy, so I thought to myself, how is this going to prove anything different? And when I heard about the story, this is more a case of uh, following the psychology of these followers in the aftermath of the crime, so it wasn't so much about Charles Manson himself, and it wasn't so much about the murders, it was about people and whether or not they can be redeemed and you find redemption in the eyes of not only the Lord but the public after you committed such a horrible act. And so I thought that's very interesting and how is Mary Harron actually going to give you a relatability to these people? And so is this a movie that's going to uh, be sympathetic to very evil people? And so I thought to myself, well, for this to work, it, it'd have to be really well handled. And unfortunately, after watching Charlie Says, I'll say that it just doesn't work. Is that, all right, I, well, I could I feel the sense of sorrow that these were very vulnerable people and they were very easily led, but ultimately they committed horrible acts, therefore the sympathetic qualities that Mary Harron is trying to give you into these people is just not there. And so a large portion of the film is giving you an insight into the vulnerabilities and giving you an insight into the manipulation of this evil man, but ultimately it just falls flat, is because I didn't care. I thought to myself, they deserve everything they get, they deserve to stay in jail for as long as they live, because of the fact they destroyed so many families. Yeah, they murdered people and they basically destroyed the families of those murdered people. And so I thought, well, there's no real redemption for these uh, yeah, for these horrible you know, acts. There's no redemption for these vulnerable people. Is that, yes, okay, they were easily led, but ultimately they did what they did. And so I thought, well, well trying to build up uh, qualities to these people, I thought was just, a, it was a little bit monotonous. And because I didn't care how this movie and how these characters would transpire, because I knew exactly what happened, you know, based on a true crime, yeah, there's a level of predictability. And so how are you going to weave something interesting within that predictability? And unfortunately, I just thought, Mary, Harron fails to do so. So the acting was decent. I thought cinematography gave a very authentic 1960s feel. I thought that the character of Charles Manson, although he wasn't the, the sole focus of the film, like other films do, I still thought, all right, well, he, he had that menacing quality, although it wasn't really emulated in a lot of other films in the way that it does in this movie. As I said, it's more a case of the followers as opposed to Charles Manson. I thought, well, although the, the actor playing Charles Manson doesn't do a great job, I still thought, all right, well, you can't help but feel a sense of fear because of what this guy actually did and the fact that this is a real person or was a real person you know, before he passed away makes it even scarier. But the whole film has a made-for-television feel. And as I said, a large portion of that is because of the fact it is based on uh, trying to give you an insight into characters that I just didn't want, really want to be uh, you know, associated with. And so the relatability is not there. Therefore, it's just a, basically a movie of a woman interviewing these people, giving you flashbacks of you know, these horrible things. But unfortunately, it just it fails to uh, intrigue you. It fails to sustain that level of interest. And it just becomes a little bit of a by the time the film finishes. And so what I liked about the movie, as I said, the cinematography is there. It also pays respect to the victims. As I said, it's not glorifying the violence of these murders. It's not so much about the murders. It's not so much about the horrible man that was Charles Manson. It's more a case of these vulnerable people. And whether or not, as I said, they can find redemption and they can be forgiven in the eyes of the public because of uh, how they were led. But ultimately, it just fails to work for me it's because I just didn't care. I thought, you get, you got what you deserved. Uh, they're in jail. They're there for the rest of their lives. And that's it. And so I thought, to myself, well, I can appreciate the fact that Mary Harron is trying something a little bit different within you know, a retelling of the Manson family, but unfortunately it just doesn't work for me because there's a level of monotony that gets in the way of the film. It's, an, it's a movie, uh, it's, it's not a story to enjoy, it's not a story to be entertained by, but I thought, alright, well, because it is a true story as, as far as crime is concerned, as I said, the predictability is there, you know how this is going to unfold, but the, the, the trick to a true life crime film is you're basically documenting 
spinning you know, this event and uh, base how you're going to spin something a little bit different therefore it can captivate an audience and maintain that level of interest and I just don't think Mary Harron succeeded in doing so. So overall for Charlie Says, I thought it was a little bit of a lackluster experience, I'm only going to give this one two stars. Alright guys, that's it for my review, hope you enjoyed it, so next time you watching movies and I'll see you later.